right, hello everyone, Gary Simon of designcourse.com with a review of the 21st designcourse.com design challenge. And this time it was for a wordmark logo design for a fictional company called Pure Sig, which is basically an electronic uh, cigarette company, fictional entirely of course, uh, and it's just a popular form of smoking now without ingesting actual tobacco. So a word mark, of course, is something that's heavily focused around the type as seen here by the examples. Uh, the submission deadline was yesterday, so it's quick on the review this time around, which I will try to be from here on out. All right, so let's get started here. We had a decent amount of submissions. All right, so Designer HD 2015. First off, big no-no with the uh, the background here. Just try to keep it plain white on Earth, or a solid color at least of some form. Otherwise, it's going to take away from the concept. Uh, other big no-nos we have here, we have uh, the pure SIG type here. Um, all, you have the bevels inside. You have a stroke. You have drop shadows. All completely unnecessary. Remember, look at these. Very simple, flat. That's what you want. Uh, and then with the... Uh, this cigarette it looks like an actual cigarette not in uh, <laughs> like a vaporizer so complete no-go here try to re-examine your approach and just take a look at some of the other examples here uh there's one that's pretty good near the middle i uh, and i will make a note of that all right so yeah thanks for the submission anyhow all uh, right so we have another one here uh so yeah, definitely simple. Uh, we have a couple issues though in terms of white space uh, and margins. So we can see the letter spacing between P, U, R, and E. And then we have this real close sort of uh, space here, a lack of space rather. It kind of throws off the flow of the, the logo. Now, of course, another big concern with this is uh, you actually do want to have the name. Uh, you can include this symbol separately, I would say. Uh, though it wouldn't be a word mark anymore. So the word mark, it's kind of important that, you know, the business name is there and not just interpreted because a lot of people who may not even know that this is a vaporizer company would look at this and say, pure what? All right, so that's the one thing I would focus on. Uh, in term, terms of uh, everything else, you did it well by keeping it simple. Big contrast up here. So uh, thanks for that. And here's another one from the same individual. <clears throat> and... Yeah, this one's a little bit more readable in terms of what the name is, but we just have a certain, you know, just a really tall block like this, and it's going to be a little bit difficult to place this on certain mediums when it's this tall. Uh, I would say additionally, it's not kind of obvious just by having a, a long rectangle like this that it's an actual eye or a vaporizer. Uh, I like the simplistic approach, though, so you're doing that right. All right, so another one. All right, so turn the I into an electronic cigarette. Try to connect the P and the G. All right, so it's not too obvious, you know, about what this portion is here, this uh, this charcoal dash right here, uh, and how they're connecting the P and G for parental guidance. Uh, so I'm not sure if if, it, if that idea is relevant. Uh, secondly, looking at this I here, I, uh, you know, this logo you're showing it kind of large. So imagine, for example, if it's being used on a website chances are it's going to be a little bit smaller than this, maybe by like 75 or 25% smaller than this. When you scale it down that much more, this little tiny uh, power s switch or power on status is going to get lost. It's just too small. So I would probably get rid of that. And then additionally, this vapor and smoke portion up here, it, it, it kind of looks like it's blurry a little bit. And you kind of want to stay away from blurriness when it comes to logo design. You want to stick with solid shapes. Okay, so I like the idea, you know, that you're trying to convey, but I think the execution could be worked on. All right, but thanks for that. All right, so I, by the way, I need to fix this. I transitioned hosting recently, and anybody who tries to get a custom avatar, it's not working. I'm going to try to fix that soon. All right, so I, let's see, replace the I with an E cigarette, which is what the individual above, above did, and the heart symbolizes smoke who is not pollutant. So I... I would say this is a little bit more obvious that it's a, a SIG uh, or a, a vaporizer just because it has a little bit of notches in it. Uh, the heart could probably be worked on a little bit uh, just because it looks a little bit uh, not uniform and not symmetrical. Uh, so I would even try to maybe even do a, a heart that looks like it's kind of smokish in a sense. And I think it would be a little bit better. Um, and so everything else, though, in terms of simplicity, you are definitely doing it well. All right, so thanks for that. 
And looking at here, let's see here, we have no comments. So, yep, pure SIG. I would say you're showing it on this darker turquoise background. Uh, it clashes too much with this uh, this orange color, essentially. Uh, there's not enough contrast, and it, it just seems like this probably should be a little bit brighter or change the background, maybe just to a white and make this black. Anyhow, I, aside from the colors, I'm not too sure. It's, you know, it's not too bad. I actually kind of look at If you look at it, it kind of does look like a SIG, and I think choosing this color kind of emulates uh, a traditional cigarette, uh, the part where you smoke it or you, you put your mouth on. So uh, interesting concept. I do like it. All uh, right, and another one, same one. I uh, So the issue with this is, uh, you know, you have this tiny little kind of charcoal dashes right here. It kind of just doesn't feel like it's a part of the logo. You know, you have this strong type here, but then you have this small thing off to the side. It's not too evident about what exactly this is, is or what's happening here. So I try to work on trying to keep things a little bit more uniform in a sense. All right, so thanks for that. All right, so looking at this, I too much happening, unfortunately. I We have... I, the, the name, once again, inside of this this cigarette vaporizer, that's a definite no because, again, this is already a large logo. So if you scaled it down, if it's shown on a website, you're going to lose this, and it's you're not going to be able to see it or read it. And so it just becomes like a cluttered mess. So I would remove that for sure. Uh, I would simplify the design of this as well just because, again, you you scale it down, it's, it's not going to look great. Um, it, with in addition to all these lines that you have here, way too redundant you won't, you only really want to work on just you know if you're going to have something like this do it only off one of the letters perhaps when you add it to all these you know various parts of the other letters it becomes cluttered so we want simplicity all right otherwise thanks for that uh some someone was having a hard time posting <laughs> right there obviously uh so pure sig i uh, let's see look at the idea it deals that you post a draws pressure of simple in nature so Give it a simplistic uh, look in a very basic implied line paired with lines to signify heat to get the shape of an electronic cigarette within the modified C and I. All right, so looking at this, the biggest issue I would say is this area right here. Uh, there's not enough white space between you know the white portion right here and above the two little red strips. So I would have opened those up a little bit more because otherwise, once again, if you scale this down a little bit more, it's going to be a little bit more cluttered. So if you're going to have something like this, you want to have a lot of white space between the different lines uh, that come close together. So you want to space them out further. Uh, as for it being uh, obvious that it's a, uh, a vaporizer right here going through the area, it's a little stretch. I mean, most people are going to look at this and they're not going to see that. So I would try to work on maybe uh, having just like a black line at the bottom to kind of give it form, and maybe that might work a little bit better. All right. Uh, otherwise, I like the idea that you're trying to convey. So good job. All right. Next on what we have here. I actually like this. I, I like the idea behind it, but I think there's just a little bit too much happening with the G because I, I understand what you're doing. Obviously, this is kind of just smoke or vaporize, vape, vapor, essentially. Uh, but I think just having a little bit too many and this thing coming up here, trying to connect to the eye, I would definitely get rid of that because we'll know this is an eye anyways. Uh, and I think it would just simplify it a little bit more while still keeping the same idea of you know the smoke fill or the vapor fill, uh, and it would be pretty good. All right, so thanks for that. And looking right here, I uh, again, if you're going to submit another uh, concept in the future, make sure that it's a little bit bigger than this, just so I can see it a little bit better. Uh, but looking at this, yeah, I like the idea. You know, you're taking an E and an abstract E, and you're combining it with the idea of vapor or smoke in a sense. So with that said, that's a pretty good concept. I do like that. Just make it bigger next time. All right. So hope this counts. Oh, of course it counts. You, you submitted it. Uh, but there are some issues here. So the biggest issue we have here is the uh, the vapor that's coming down here. Uh, it's not uniform. It's not smooth. You can kind of see uh, it just kind of looks very, uh, what would you say, not uniform and not smooth, <laughs> essentially. So uh, and plus you have several of them coming out here. 
and they're not really uh, there's not enough space in between them. So if you scale that down, it's going to look like a blurry mess between these individual lines. Uh, and then also, I'm not a fan of the the eye being real tall like this. It kind of throws off the rest of the type. Um, but you could definitely work with this idea and improve it big time just by making these more smooth with the Bezier tool or the pen tool uh, and also working with this type here and trying to make it a little bit more uniform, bringing this in. All right, so thanks for that. All right, here's another one. Uh, you know, this has potential, but again, we have this issue here with the uh, the vapor kind of coming up here and this tiny little notch right there. You know, if you have something that small, it's going to be indiscernible at smaller sizes and it's just going to kind of clutter things. So I try to stick with maybe just one of this, this one right here, and also making it smoother with the pen tool, trying to get a nice smooth cur curvature on your angles here. Uh, having said that, like I said, if you improve that part, maybe bring the letters together just a tad bit, I think it would be a pretty solid concept. All right, so looking here. Okay, so I, let's see here. I would say, you know, it's fine to overlap letters as long as they're readable, and they are, but the issue here is there's not enough space between, you know, we have this this uh, this stroke right here. It seems like it only, only might be two or three pixels. I would say increase that maybe to five to seven pixels. Because again, if you scale this down, it's going to be blurry there. And then they're going to kind of bleed into each other, essentially. Same thing with this, just a little bit more space in between them. Uh, having said that, looking at this eye, I would probably keep the same, uh, you know, how you're separating the letters currently, like with the white space. I would do that as well instead of adding like a shadow right here that you see. That way everything is consistent in appearance. All right. So thanks for the submission. Looking at this, very simple. I'm not too sure though that a lightning bolt sort of thing would, I mean, I understand you're, okay, you're saying electronic, you kind of you kind of think of electronics, but I think more people think of uh, a more of like an organic vapor sort of thing. So maybe if you made it vapor, it might be a little bit more relevant, but then that's just uh, that's a, a minor gripe, not that big of a deal. Aside from that, you have everything else pretty much good in terms of simplicity and not cluttering things too much, so that's good, All right? Looking at this, big no-no for the uh, background. Again, we want to try to keep it a solid color. Uh, it makes it hard to see, especially this G over here. You have the light blue and this G, kind of hard to see what this is. And right here, I see you uh, two different concepts. I would say the pure and the sig type they, it's just too much, I think. You know, you're using two different, entirely different types of fonts, and that clutters, that creates clutter. So I would stick probably with this font right here uh, for the pure. And then additionally, you're trying to convey multiple forms of symbolism, uh, literally, in the logo concept, and that creates for clutter, essentially. Uh, and so you, you don't want to try to get too many ideas put into a logo. You want to try to stick to just one most of the time. Uh, and so when you have the, the, the vaporizer right here, plus you have this, the plug over here, I would stick with one or the other. I actually like this one. You just get rid of the plug over here and keep this font, and it would be a pretty solid concept, all right? All right, so looking down here, all right, so... This individual went all out, obviously. Uh, just look at all of these uh, examples here with this custom type here for the name. I mean, this person just went all out, and I think they've entered other contests and uh, have done very well uh, in the past with those contests as well. Plus, got the uh, nailed the uh, the imposition here. Uh, on the vaporizer, so I can only say good things about this. I mean, just the fact that it's a custom font. It seems to be a custom font, obviously, right here, and that's great. So if you can all, if you can ever come up with something that's custom, that's awesome. So the idea behind the symbolism right here, a unique symbolism, I think this could be, could, uh, this is what basically makes it unique outside of the type. I, I would say at this size, I think this is supposed to be right there on the eye, possibly. A little bit hard to see that, so maybe just uh, bring this down a tad bit so you could see it smaller sizes and it would be perfect. So great submission and thanks for taking the time. All right, so moving on to the next one, Ink Pop Designs. All right, so <clears throat> again, we have multiple forms of symbolism. So ideally, we'll stick with one or the other So because we have a cigarette right here and then we have a leaf right here. Um, 
I was like I said, try to stick with one or the other. I'm not too sure that having a traditional cigarette butt is a good idea because this is not, you know, a cigarette as we know them conventionally. I uh, so maybe I would stick with probably this right here, pure, uh, and the leaves right here. Uh, and aside from that, everything else is good. Uh, I I like the type. I I like the simplicity. You nailed that. So good job. All right, they made a fix right there. Just about done, pure sig. Uh, yeah, so whenever you're gonna encase something like uh, in a rectangle, you wanna make sure things are aligned up correctly. So if you look at the, the space between the P, left of the P and over here, you, know, you have the decent amount, maybe 25 pixels. Then over here, we have like 10. So you wanna keep things even. Same thing at the top, we have a decent amount up here but then tiny amount right here. So keep them even. Uh, aside from that, these two lines coming off, they just don't look very good. I would try to maybe use what's called the variable width stroke uh, profile, what is, is what it's called in Illustrator, if that's what you're using. And that way it could start out, you know, a very small stroke to a thicker stroke to a small stroke. And that'll give it a little bit better appearance, in my opinion. So just those couple things, and you'll be able to improve that. Uh, here's another one, I think, from the same individual. Yes. Yeah, again, don't want to have so many of these copies. You want to stick with one, basically. And again, same comment about the variable width uh, profile. And then Ibrahim, we have... Uh, okay, so would have been nice to see it just a little bit larger. Um, yeah, I kind of I do like the, the, the color choice here. It's not too bad. Um, Looking at this, I'm not too certain though. I see you've used white space within the letters, which is great, especially for word marks. Uh, I'm not too sure though, this looks exactly like a vaporizer, if that's what it's supposed to be. So I would maybe try to make it a little bit more obvious. Uh, but aside from that, I do like it. Uh, it has a lot going for it, so thanks for that. All right, uh, we're just reading this real quick. All right, so. Yeah, unfortunately, I would say this is not ideal. I uh, just because it's you know a vaporizer shape, I uh, it's just a little bit too dynamic, and then you're fitting and you're sticking in the pure sig text right in it, and it's just it's just hard for it to look good based on this shape. All right, so especially you know if you are going to put it in here, you know make it a lot more white space. So, so thicken up or widen, I. Uh, and probably also don't go with title case, just make them all caps, pure sig, and get it away from the edges because it's a little bit too close. You know, if you scale that down even more, it's gonna look worse in my opinion. Uh, and also we I see we have a linear gradient that's going from this way to this way. And it's just it makes it a little bit harder to read, especially over here when that's a darker gray against the black. So I probably get rid of that as well. Uh, with that said, though, thanks everyone for submitting the entries. I can see that the logo design uh, challenges are definitely more popular, so we can keep on doing those if you wish. Just let me know what you think. Make sure you subscribe here on YouTube you have if you haven't. If you liked what I have to say, please thumbs up. There's been people who've been thumbing down <laughs> almost instantly when I upload lately. Uh, I don't think they like me. Uh, so yeah, I. Uh, We'll go ahead and announce a new challenge here in a couple days. And again, if you have ideas, let me know in the comments. All right, talk to you later.